Well, the heat certainly continues uh, today. In fact, the heat peaks this afternoon as far as aerial coverage because the heat extends from the central Gulf Coast states, Texas, all the way into the north central United States. Look at these high temperatures today around Minneapolis, Sioux Falls, Omaha, all above 100 degrees, over 100 in Kansas City and St. Louis, Chicago in at 98 degrees. And by the way, today will be the hottest day of the year in Chicago. We have an eclipse 93 degrees. We hit 93 degrees twice, June 24th, July 28th. Accuate the real field temperatures as well in Chicago are going to be up near 110 degrees. Records are going to be widespread throughout the plains and the Midwest. I want to show you some locations, including Topeka and Lincoln, Nebraska. That record in Madison back to 1947, record high in Chicago today, also in 1947, 97 degrees. We think we're going to break that. We should break that record in Madison as well. Minneapolis, you're at 100 degrees. Your record is 97 in 1948. I was mentioning the Accu the real field temperatures. Look at this area. Well above 100 degrees here. Anywhere in color, you're above 100 degrees. And the zone where we're going to see the highest accurate with the real field temperatures will be from Little Rock to Memphis, where we could eclipse 115 degrees, maybe 120. That is a hot, hot day. All right, the other thing about a heat wave, and this sometimes gets forgotten, it's not just the temperatures during the day, but it's the temperatures at night. And in many cases, with these heat waves, it remains very steamy at night, and that's going to be the case tonight. Chicago, you're low 79 degrees, which means you're going to be in the 80s most of tonight. We will not get below 80 degrees in Kansas City or in St. Louis, even in Indianapolis, and you're going to be hotter tomorrow in Indianapolis than what you are today. We're only down to 76 degrees. Here's where it ends. It's all about the location of this upper level high. Here's where it is today, just south of St. Louis, and you can see the wind flow out of the west-southwest. That's what's bringing all the heat northward. But what's going to happen is, is this high is going to start moving south and west as we move into Thursday, but especially Friday and Saturday. And you'll note the wind flow now coming in out of the west-northwest across the upper Midwest. And what is that going to do? It's going to bring relief in Chicago, in Minneapolis, in Detroit, Detroit 90 degrees as we go through our Thursday, you'll cool off a little quicker. But even in Kansas City, in Springfield, in uh, Cincinnati, you're back into the upper 80s to lower 90s. The heat, though, is not going anywhere farther south. Look at uh, in, in uh, Dallas, where the heat is going to continue through the weekend. Your relief won't be felt until early next week.